everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies, where we got little kitties running around. Yay, kitty! Kitty, come here! I want you to love me! Okay, so, since last episode, I've afk just a little bit. Uh, we have our cobblestone all, clo all flowing into our ME system. I almost forgot about that. Uh, we are up to 19 million... Uh, well, 19.5 million. So we are doing pretty good. We're almost halfway there. Uh, so that is continuing to go. Uh, so last episode, we kind of got stuck on the fish sandwich, and I set up a fisher. And then I went ahead and I made a few more. So now we got 10 of these uh, automatic MFR fishers going, and they are collecting fish. Uh, they're ejecting the fish right into the pipes, which go into this gold chest, and bam, we got a lot of fish. Well, not only do we have this many, I've actually cleaned this chest out. It almost filled up at one point. And we have 408, or I'm sorry, 4,008 fish in our ME system. Let me go, oh, hey, come here. We go and take those and space click those into our system. So now we almost got 5,000 fish. Awesome. So that means we can definitely uh, do our uh, fish sandwich. I couldn't think of what I was going to say there. So we needed the leafy fish sandwich thing yeah this guy right here we needed a thousand of these guys so let's go ahead and do that um guess we'll type fish there i'll click these guys and click them into the network just so i know how far along we are and was it that many or one more click boom okay so there's a thousand twenty four uh fish sandwiches now we need to change those into the leafy fish sandwich so we should be able to just go ahead and click all these guys no problem whoops oh yeah, well, there goes two stacks of lettuce because that's just clicking and clicking. Okay, so now we have our leafy fish sandwiches. Awesome. So let's go in here. Yeah, 47 lives. That's awesome. Died one time still. Uh, so Hell's Kitchen. Open this guy and we'll go over here. Surf and turf. Submit. Boom. So that's going to give us a fisher, which we absolutely do not need since we got 10 of them now. And it's going to give us two hearts. Titanium fishing rod, which is awesome. That's a Mary Culture thingy. Uh, reward bag and uh, I don't know left one Okay, so now that we got all that stuff oh, legendary and epic. Let's do our two hearts boom boom 49 lives remaining Let's do the epic reward bag. Ooh, what is this? Morvi decor reward purple heart wood rosewood and amaranth wood now Actually, hold on a second. I think this might come in handy amaranth and purple heart. Hold on one second. Let's take a look at our quest book. I think it was for the hoarding. Open this up. There's this purple madness, which makes us want amaranth planks. Oh, that's a hundred thousand. We don't got quite that many. And wasn't there? Maybe that was it. Okay, so I was thinking maybe that would have fulfilled this part of the quest, but nope. Uh, we still got a lot of purple to collect. We haven't even started on that. Okay, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, we are pretty much wrapping up on this quest line. Let's check out our legendary reward bag. Okay, um, diamond. Oh, 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 actually, hold on a second. Protection 5 and thorns on every single piece. Now, the protection 5 is great. Actually, this whole armor set is great. That'll definitely upgrade what I'm currently wearing. Uh, thorns, though, even though it does damage back to enemies, it makes your armor wear out that much faster. So I'm going to want some, uh, I'm breaking 3 put on all these pieces, but that is great. So I can go ahead and get rid of this. Oh wait, hold on, feather falling. Ha, huh. do I want the protection over the feather falling? <laughs> I kind of feel like I want to mix and match these things. Uh, the helmet has protection two, I'm breaking one. That's definitely an upgrade. Uh, pants, yeah, I'm breaking protection two, that's an upgrade. Okay, so as far as the feet go, I think I want, I'm break, or I'm sorry, feather falling and I'm breaking three. Maybe what we should do at this point is start looking at the MFR disenchanter thing. Let's go ahead and put these items away that we don't need. Titanium fishing rod. Yeah, we'll look at that sometime soon. Amaranth wood. Okay, um, so MFR disenchanter, or is it auto disenchanter? I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, now I said I wasn't gonna make one of these because I thought it used some kind of a liquid. I'm actually not sure if it does. Um, let's see, we need nether brick and I don't have any of that. So let's get four pieces of nether rack. We'll go ahead and get those smelting real quick. Uh, that should smelt into the nether bricks, which we, oh, that's an energetic confuser. <laughs> it's like, why is it not going in there? Yeah, this will smelt up into the nether brick 
and we can combine that into the nether bricks block okay so that's going um i'm curious though i haven't messed with the disenchanter in a while oh book do we have the books i don't think we do we have one piece of paper we have all of the sugar cane now that actually won't be a problem at all let's go and do two of those we're gonna need some leather too uh there's a t in there somewhere so not that two pieces of this bloop Okay, so there's our two books for this guy. What else did we miss? We need this, and we need this. Awesome, so now that's all done. Auto Disenchanter Git. Right, so I am not sure. That's providing power up here, right? No, that's providing cobblestone. Uh, this is our power. Let's stick, if I can click the right spot, stick this right here. Okay, so Auto Disenchanter, yeah, I think you put in a piece of armor or a book and then you have to have a regular book down here and right so first of all let's grab one of our books that we have mm, efficiency three poison ivy fortune three let's do on breaking through we have a bunch of these books i need to make some more paper so let's get the sugar cane going guess we'll make a stack of paper do that we need some leather do, 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 leather right there. Boom, bunch of books. Awesome. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if we stick a book right there and one of those right there. Yeah, it looks like it's doing something. I'm breaking three in a book here. Now, I'm pretty sure when this thing gets all the way up to the top, it should take the enchant from here, stick it on this, and we'll have a book that we can use with an anvil to put onto an item. So I'll turn that into an enchanted book. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I haven't used one of these in a very, very long time, but I remember them being simple. For some reason, before, I was thinking that they would take the monster essence. Uh, but I think we should be good here in just a second. Oh, there we go. We get the book back. That's awesome. So I can put the book here with this and just continue to do this. Put those right there, and I guess stick another book in there. Awesome. So now we can put Unbreaking 3 on our armor. Okay, so let's do that. Pants, let's, will it let me, will it be too expensive? I have no idea. Oh, that only costs 20 levels. That's not bad at all. Uh, maybe I should, how much does it cost for that and renaming? 27, all right, let's get 27 levels. I am gonna rename these just so when we fix them up later, the price doesn't go crazy. Uh, so I need essence, we have plenty of this stuff. Just click a bunch of those in there. I think it's at 27 levels. All right, guys. Well, you can see it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get this stuff done. I'm going to disenchant those books over there, get these things renamed and anviled and all of that stuff, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I put two of those books in there, the Unbreaking Three books, to disenchant. I got one disenchanted book back, one Unbreaking Three book, and then I, there is two of them over here. So it's like it disenchanted both of those books at the same time and only put onto one book. So unfortunately, we lost out on one and breaking three enchant. I didn't know that was going to happen. So now I'm trying to uh, uh, disenchant my leather pants here. Oh, look at that. We got unbreaking three. Awesome. So unbreaking three off my leather pants. And we now have unbreaking three on my ultimate leggings and my spiky helmet. So now I can put this unbreaking on like the boots. I'm also going to want Feather Falling, so I might try and disenchant that. Uh, the Haste would also be really awesome to have, so I can move just a little bit faster. Uh, so I'm going to continue to mess around with the Auto Disenchanter and try and farm some uh, awesome enchants from the mob drops over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I've thrown away lots and lots and lots of good enchants just by combining stuff. Um, yeah, I wish I would have thought about that earlier and started getting some of those items, but you know, whatever. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish disenchanting and enchanting the diamond armor and we'll be right back. Oh yeah, guys. So I've been spending some time over here at the mob farm trying to get some pieces of armor to drop that have enchants on it, hoping to get another haste two or a haste three piece. Yeah, I've been spending time over there for a while and no luck so far. But let me show you what I've done. Uh, we got that one Protection 4 book, I think from my old leather helmet, and I was able to put it on my jetpack. Uh, I don't know if that actually does anything. It says it has Protection 4. I don't know if it really takes effect, though. Uh, but it is shiny, 
and I had no use for that protection four <laughs> since this piece right here has protection five on it if I was to swap it out. Uh, but yeah, my helmet's got protection five, thorns five, I'm breaking three. Uh, leggings, same thing. And my feathery boots has I'm breaking three, feather falling four, and haste two. If we can find another haste two, we can bump that up to haste three, and then I can walk around just a little bit faster. I believe that, whoop, almost took fall damage. I believe that almost, or that also includes like, uh, Speed when you're flying. Actually, let's take these boots off. Does that make me go slower? Uh, it's kind of hard to judge and put those back on. Hmm. Really not sure if that makes me fly faster. It kind of feels like it does though. I don't know. Uh, but I did set up our enchanting table over here. I tore down our little patch of mycelium and that uh, area that we had for growing the mushrooms. We really don't need that and it really wasn't a permanent thing. Uh, but yeah, we have an enchanting table here. So we can enchant some stuff, like we could put some level 30s on a book and try and get um, the haste too. Another thing that we could try, if I munch a bunch of these essence berries, uh, I know gold has high enchantability. You always get lots of enchants when you uh, enchant on gold. So I'm thinking maybe we could do like gold boots and try a level 30 on those and hopefully we'll get a whole bunch of enchants. Maybe we'll get that... Um, the haste three that I'm looking for. I mean, we have plenty of gold at this point. In fact, all of my ingots right now, I smelted pretty much everything we had. And my goodness, we have so much stuff right now. It's so good. So let's make a pair of gold boots. I'm curious if we can do this. So gold boots, let's enchant that at level 30. Hopefully we can get haste on the first go round. I don't know if we will be able to or not. So there's that, boom, no. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, we can put those through our disenchanter over here and throw away some books uh, to try and get that stuff off. There's an unbreaking that I got off this helmet. Uh, we could do that, or I think we can melt these down. I'm not sure. If we can melt those down, that's going to be awesome. Those go oh, yeah, look at that. They'll those will smelt right into the ingots so we can uh, get rid of this guy. And yeah, that reminds me, we're also gonna do our piston quest. I put these over here as a reminder. So let's stick that guy there in our ingot cast. Doo, doo, doo. Boop. And let's take our pistons with us, our thousand pistons. That's for our next quest on here. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and continue to do this. Uh, munch some more of these essence berries, try and do another level 30 on those boots. Hopefully, I'm curious. I, I would like to do one more of these and see if we can get it right away. Because uh, I would like to get that haste 3 enchant, or at least another haste 2. Uh, that's going to be really, really awesome. Doo -doo. Okay, and take another pair of boots. The other ones are going to turn to ingots over there. No problem at all. Right, so we're going to get lucky this time. Haste 3, yes! That is awesome. So now we just have to put that through the disenchanter. Do, do, do. And hopefully uh, we get that haste three. Now I put a bow through the disenchanter earlier and it broke or disappeared or whatever. So I assume there's a chance that while you can get the enchantments off it, there's a chance it'll be destroyed. Uh, hopefully we'll get the haste three off there and it won't be destroyed. I don't know. But while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and do the for the hoarding quest. Uh, open this up with the pistons pushing it. Yeah, so we need a thousand pistons, boom. I should have exactly a thousand in my inventory. So let's go ahead and claim the one on the right. And we will go ahead and eat a few more of these hearts. Boom, boom, 51 hearts, that's so awesome. And an epic reward bag. Very nice, more blood runes, awesome. Okay, uh, how do we do over here? Haste three, it's so awesome, so, so awesome. Let's go ahead and put those through. Oh yeah, look at that, it takes some durability off. That's why that bow broke earlier, I see. All right, so we won't be able to put those through the smeltery because there will be damage. Um, let's take our boots off. Okay, so diamond boots. Hopefully it'll let me do it. Oh yeah, only 27 levels, that's awesome. Right, so time to munch some more of these ore berries. We need to get up to level 27. That shouldn't be too hard. We might have enough of the berries in our inventory right now to get to that level. Yeah, I think we should. Six and seven, nice. Right, so boots, haste, boom. Haste three, feather falling four, unbreaking three, thorns five, protection five, these boots are amazing. 
Okay, so now I walk just a bit faster. And I think I jetpack a little bit faster. It's really hard to tell. If it is faster, it's not like really significant, but does feel like I am moving a bit faster now. So that's really cool. All right, so we can go ahead and start putting some of this stuff away. We don't need those books or the rune or, yeah, these pieces of enchanted armor. I think I'm gonna stick over here for now. I don't want them taking up my space. Uh, each one of those is a unique item and they take up a new one of these uh, different types on these drives. And our space here isn't unlimited. Uh, yeah, we're also starting to run low on our fluid storage. Or I'm sorry, our, la our lava in the nether has stopped. And now we're draining our fluid storage disks. Um, you can see it's kind of going up and going back down and going back up and stuff. That's because our lava production is kind of helping, but it's not enough to keep up with our demand of all those lava generators down below. So, yeah, um, our lava will burn out eventually, but at the rate it's going, I think we got plenty of time before I have to really worry about it. But I would like to switch over to big reactors pretty soon. Um, so let's see, is there anything else on here that I wanted to look at? What about this automated mining? Oh, you know what, before we could do this, we had to get the pink slime, right? Uh, we could start looking at that fairly soon. Another thing, uh, oak wood, we need 100,000 of those. Maybe it's almost time that we should swap one of these farms out. Oh, I did replace this one with lettuce. Uh, maybe it's time we should swap one of these farms out with oak wood, just so we can start on that quest. I don't know how many more soybeans we need. I think all of our quests for the Hell's Kitchen is basically done, except for lettuce. So there's no reason to collect any more soybeans other than for our own food. And let's check it out right now, tofu. We have 5,000 pieces of firm tofu, which is more food than we'll ever use in this entire map. I am certain of it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out all of the soybeans over here for oak trees. And then, whoop, uh, and then we will start collecting the oak wood for that quest. We need 100,000 of them. That's gonna be going for quite some time. I think that's a good idea. All right, guys, tell you what, I'm gonna make a break right now, uh, swap that out, and we'll start working on something else. See you in a bit, guys. Oh, wow, guys, so I was just sitting here looking at my books and stuff. I'm not sure what happened. I think I was looking at the book binder and I did something and I was going through this and all of a sudden my quest book disappeared. So I made a new one and I actually ended up making two new ones and then I logged down, logged back in and then they reappeared. I don't know, that was just really weird. I was like, what the heck happened to them? But anyway, uh, as you can see over here, I swapped out the soybeans for oak trees now. So we got plenty of oak wood being automatically generated. You know, thinking about this, we should have set this up, one of these farms, uh, as one of like the earliest things we did because we're going to be getting a lot of saplings. Uh, a lot of saplings, a lot of apples, uh, plenty of extra wood and stuff. And I think the apples and the saplings can both be used to make dirt. Uh, so that's probably something that we we're going to want to do. Another thing is we also have that scythe or flux, what is this thing called? Flux infused sickle. This thing right here, I think there's a way you can switch modes on it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the button is. I'm sure it's one of them, but this you can harvest a whole bunch of leaves in one go and the leaves can be used to turn into dirt as well. So I don't know if we need to set up a a dirt farm or whatever to uh, get that going. Um, we do need a whole heck of a lot of dirt, though. Uh, that's one of the quests <laughs> that's required. Come on, give me. Uh, one of the quests that's required is we need a whole bunch of like compressed, double, quadruple compressed dirt. I can't remember. Under for the hoarding. So let's go here real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, dirt collection. So we need a hundred quadruple compressed dirt. I'm not exactly sure how much that is. I think that's around. 80,000 or 100,000 pieces of dirt. I, I haven't done the math on that, I'm just guessing. Uh, we have 2,400 right now, which is all right. And I haven't shown this to you. It was in the last episode or two. Uh, I've just been putting a lot of stuff in here that can turn into dirt into this chest. It just goes in the hopper and into this oak barrel. I found out you don't have to use the same item. So like you could do three pieces of rotten flesh and you know, six more lettuce seeds or whatever it is, it automatically figures that out for you. But yeah, it'll just figure that out. They all just drop in there and this is automatically turning into dirt, which is just going into this um, Tesseract right here that I have hooked up to the same vacuum hopper. I just figured we'd reuse that for this purpose. 
I could set up, you know, multiple hoppers over here and have a whole bunch of them going, but <laughs> I just figured that's probably going to be good enough for now. Uh, when we need a whole bunch of dirt, we'll set up something to do that. Uh, but yeah, so I want to do one more quest today, or at least start on one before we end the episode. We can't do the dirt quest. Obviously, we don't have that much dirt. Uh, but one thing I did want to look at, was it under For the Hoarding? Yeah, I think it might have been. Uh, is the not the end quest this requires a thousand end stone so we could try and go to the end and collect that or we can craft the end stone i would like to do it that way so end stone let's take a look at this uh we can use resonant ender it needs uh 250 millibuckets which is one ender pearl so we'll need a thousand ender pearls and a thousand pieces of sandstone in a fluid transposer uh there's other recipes too same thing Thing. I'm not sure how much 50 millibuckets. I might be one pearl and obsidian or this way too. This says, uh, oh, you know what? This would be way cheaper on the ender pearls using the obsidian. And I think we have a whole bunch of obsidian too. We have 300. Yeah, well, we don't have a thousand. <laughs> so it might be cheaper in the obsidian, but we have a bunch of sand. We don't have a bunch of the other. So let's go ahead and start making a thousand pieces of sandstone. So we have 34 right now. We can just get rid of this stuff too. Just go and click a bunch of those in my inventory. Okay, so, oh yeah, look at that. Two, three, four, two. Perfect, so there's a thousand. So we need a thousand sandstone and a thousand ender pearls. Ender pearls, oh, we only got 893. That's, I thought we had more than that actually. Let's drop those guys in here. Maybe we'll do a partial with the obsidians. It's going to use that much fewer uh, ender pearls. Let's see. So we have 951, which would almost get us there, but not quite. So yeah, I might use some of our obsidian and do it over here. Did we get those four? What? Four ink. Oh, you know what? This thing wasn't turned on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to make our uh, gold ingots. Um, yeah, we could use obsidian over here with some ender pearls it might be what i do for some of them just because we don't quite have a thousand we can also just sit here and wait for you know the uh enderman to die and collect the rest of them but i would like to have ender pearls around for other uses so uh tell you guys what let's go ahead and start dumping in some ender pearls here do i have a hopper i have a vacuum hopper which is not what i want let's grab a hopper I think we're gonna just gonna have to make one of these guys real quick. Uh, nope, I don't want to make a crafty table. I want to make a chest. It's one of those. Hopper. Let's make it have iron. We have plenty of iron. Right. So now we have that. Mm hmm. I suppose I could just use an export bus on top of this thing too, but I don't want all of my ender pearls being melted. Um, do we have a chest? We have an iron chest, which is good. We'll stick that guy right up here. Aha, uh -huh. and ender pearls. Okay, so I'm just going to click out a bunch of these guys. Right, that goes in there. Now we're going to have to do sandstone. So we have a thousand of these guys. I might set up another hopper and another chest over here. Now I'm fairly certain... Wait, do I have it? You have an import bus set on this fluid transposer thing. So anything that comes in here should be exported if this guy is set to the right thing. I'm not sure if it is. But anyway, we can just go ahead and do this. Oh, look at how slow that is too. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be something we set and forget. This won't go super quick. But yeah, there we go. There's some end stone. If I set that to the right thing, will that get imported? Orange, is that what we need to import? I don't know. Oh, blue. There we go. Yeah, the wrong thing was set. Okay, so blue. <laughs> or is it yellow? Red? Ah, orange. Okay, so orange will let it be imported back into our ME system. Yeah, there we go. There's our end stone right here. Okay, so you guys see how this is going to work. It's a slow process. We're collecting a lot of the resonant ender. Um... I think I'm going to take some of the obsidian and do the same thing over here with our smeltery. Yeah, because that's going to use a lot less enderpearls, and we have some obsidian to use on that as well. 
All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot of stuff to be done off camera. We're collecting lots of wood. We're going to be collecting a lot of ender pearls and getting all this stuff done for the next quest. Oh, yeah, guys. So tell you what, I'm going to end the episode here. Get some stuff done off camera. I'll see you guys back next episode. and We'll try and get this quest completed if uh, there's enough time gone by to let this happen. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.